Hello everybody, my name is Rose Power with Wows and Media Systems. With this coronavirus outbreak, it is affecting all of our lives and we are getting a lot of interest here at Wows and Media Systems, how we can assist the schools and universities that are switching to remote learning right now. So I wanted to make this tutorial and show you how quick and easy it is to set up a virtual classroom using just a Zoom account and a Wowza Streaming Cloud account. So please have those two things already set up and ready to go and I'll just show you how you can have this class up and streaming in just 10 minutes. You might want to check with your school or institution before you create a Zoom account because a lot of times they already have one and they can simply go in and just enable you as a host. So Zoom and Streaming Cloud license and you can purchase the cloud license right off the wowza.com website. All right, so let me walk you through this, this tutorial. What you want to do from the Wowza Streaming Cloud page, once you're logged in with your credentials, is you go right up here to Live Streams, click on that, and a little drop down appears. Click on Add Live Stream. Go ahead and give that a name. We'll just type in uh, Remote Learning. When you scroll down, it shows you a lot of different maps, and you just want to select on which location is closest to you. So this one's already selected by default, and I'm, I'm pretty close to that one here in Colorado. So I'll click Next. This page wants to know a little bit more about your camera source. Don't get overwhelmed by all these choices. Just scroll right down and click on Other RTMP. RTMP is a streaming protocol, and that is the one that we're going to be using with Zoom. Scroll down to the bottom of this page, and right down here where it says Source Security, just go ahead and click on Disable Authentication. That just usually requires a password um, for you to do uh, several different steps, and we're just going to shut that off for now. Click Next. Playback Settings, you can just leave everything as the default. Scroll through this page and click Next. Do you want Wowza Stream Cloud to host a web page that plays back your video? Uh, this is if you don't already have a, a course site that you can share a video. We'll go ahead and create a hosting page for you. So for this tutorial, I'll leave that clicked as yes, but at the end I'll explain to you what you can do to share this video through your own uh, institution website. You can enter some different information here if you'd like for the page title, a little bit of a description about the class. Scroll to the bottom and click Next. This is just a review of all those settings. Everything looks good. Click Finish. And it's going to take us to this video streaming data page. So don't click on Start Live Stream just yet, but scroll down to this area here where you have Source Connection Information. Now we're going to hop over into our Zoom. Once you head over to your Zoom page and you log into your account, make sure you head over to the settings here in the left nav. You're going to scroll all the way down. There's quite a bit. Keep going, keep going. Until you get to the section here, allow live streaming meetings. Now I had already set this up beforehand, but I'll show you what it looks like. Normally that's switched in the off position. So go ahead and click that over to the right, and this will usually be unchecked. This is what you want to do. Click on Custom Live Streaming Service. There's going to be a little pop-up box here, and it's just some instructions if you want to sort of give a, a quick description of what you're trying to do. So I just entered, we're going to, going to create a new stream and Wowza Streaming Cloud. We're going to copy the RTMP link that this provides for the next step in Zoom. But you can enter whatever you'd like right there. Scroll to the bottom of the page. You'll either click Regenerate or Save. Up at the top, click on Schedule a Meeting. And it's almost 4 o'clock, so I'm going to leave everything as is. But you can go ahead and enter the name of your class. You can do a description. All these things are up to you. But right now, I just want to get this meeting started. So I'll click Save. And then up here over to the right, click Start this meeting. Open Zoom. Don't really need the, the audio for this right now. So we're already all set in Wowza Streaming Cloud. It's, going to wait, it's waiting basically to receive the stream from Zoom. So we just need to do a couple of things here. Let's start the video. 
Down here in the right corner, you'll see more with three dots. Click on that right here. Click on live on custom live streaming service and a form is going to pop up. So the streaming URL, the streaming key and the live streaming page URL, this is what's required in the next step, but don't worry, I'll show you where you can easily find that information. Back over in Streaming Cloud, where we left off in the source connection information, this first line here, the primary server, go ahead and copy that whole thing, jump back over into that Zoom form, and that is what you will enter in that first line for the streaming URL. A little pop-up warning will say you've entered a non-encrypted RTMP URL. And don't worry about that because Wowza Streaming Cloud will take care of the encryption and the security for you when it sends the video out for playback. Next, we need to enter a streaming key back over in Wowza Streaming Cloud. Right underneath the primary server, we have host port. We can skip that. The stream key is the same as the stream name. It's the same thing. So you can copy that now. And we'll drop that right in the streaming key. Lastly, we need to enter live streaming page URL. That's the actual page where this link will be uh, able to be clicked upon and the player will be launched. So I'll show you where that is. Back in Wazza Streaming Cloud, now is the time to go ahead and click on start live stream because once we click on this, it will give us that actual playback page URL. So it just takes eh, usually about 15, 25 seconds for this to start the live stream. Preparing it. A little bit more to go. There we go. Hide this window and now right here you'll see hosted page URL. That is what you want to copy next and enter that in Zoom in the live streaming page URL. Go ahead and click the blue button, go live. And now the Zoom application is going to send this video meeting information to Wowza Streaming Cloud. Once Wowza Streaming Cloud receives this information, it's going to process it and package it for playback over HLS, which is another type of streaming protocol that just about all devices support. So Zoom sends it through RTMP, but not a lot of devices uh, allow you to watch a video over RTMP. So Cloud takes care of all of that for you. And now we can click on play. It's receiving the video information from Zoom and it does require a certain amount of video data before the playback will start. But we can go back over here, that's funny, and we can see that I am showing up in Wowza Streaming Cloud thumbnail that it is receiving the video information. All right, so now our stream is showing. That means that it successfully was sent from Zoom to Wowza Streaming Cloud. And so now what you can do is head back over to the Streaming Cloud page. And I want to talk to you real quickly about what you need to do uh, as far as sharing this, this video now with your, with your students in your class. Your first option is you can, you can share that hosted page URL. If you'd like to do that, that's fine. Uh, and the one that I was showing there, I know it's, it's a little bit plain, but there are some different settings you can adjust in Streaming Cloud if you want to um, add some description and some text on that page. If you'd like, if you go right down here to playback URLs, this was transmuxed in cloud from RTMP to HLS. And again, I mentioned that earlier, that just is a streaming protocol that just about all devices support. So you can just share this link right here with your class or other teachers and they'll be able to, to click on that and join the, the live classroom. If you have a security issue and you need to only share this video link um, within the course platform, for example, you can embed this player code right here into the HTML for your course and that will also just have a link and students can click on that right inside the course documentation and that will launch this, this same player that you're seeing here. 
So that is how simple it is. And I wanted to show you that again because I know a lot of the schools are closed, are closing right now, and people are really looking for a really quick solution. This is simple, it's easy, and it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes once you have your Zoom account and your cloud license all set up. If you have any questions, please reach out to me in the Wowza forums. Um, you can reach us through the wowza.com website. We want to do everything we can to help you right now during this coronavirus uh, uh, crisis, so please reach out to us. We're here and we care about you. Thanks. Bye.